today on the TMZ Podcast. Happy Monday and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and I'm joined by Brendan Jeffreyon. How are you, Brendan? It's good to be here with you on a Monday. Now, you're on our news desk. You break some of the biggest stories. we got a few good ones today. Uh, Britney Spears, her relationship with husband Sam is on the rocks. We're also going to talk about Taylor Swift. Her, her new boyfriend joined her dad. Uh, they showed up to the concert together in Philly over the weekend. And finally, we're going to discuss Lady Gaga and... And the unwanted flowers, the case of the unwanted flowers. There's always a stalker, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, to begin with, Britney Spears, um, the guy who was always constant throughout this whole conservatorship ending, and they've been together for many, many years. Well, it seems like her and Sam Asghari, her husband, are, are not getting along and their marriage is in deep trouble. Deep trouble. Sources have told us that um, Sam is more out of it and over it than Brittany, it, Brittany is. Um, we've even been told recently that Sam is spending less time at the home that Brittany has owned for years um, outside of L.A. It's about an hour outside of L.A. You know, I've, often we see them on social media and he's with her at that house. But our sources um, have been very adamant over the last uh, several weeks that he isn't spending as much time at the house as people might think from the public's view. Right. Um, and that he is really chucked out of this marriage. He's over it. Yeah, well, I mean, when he is at the house and when he is partaking in the marriage um, in person, apparently it's not going too well. Uh, they, they've they gotten physical. We, we've heard they've gotten physical. Brittany's gotten physical with Sam, um, which is just crazy to think about. There have been screaming matches they're shouting each other. They've gotten so heated that Britney's security has had to like break up their fights. Right. We've been told of all different kinds of stories. Um, you know, I've heard of one in which um, she had chased Sam through the house um, with some kind of object, a piece of furniture, and security had to intervene. You know, she chases him through the house and then around the property. Wow. And uh, they have to step in and... Um, you know, we know that police uh, don't go, uh, aren't called for these incidents. Her security breaks them up and, and handles the situation. But um, they are very violent situations and, and they're dangerous. And at times they're both in harm's way. Um, so it's just a very toxic marriage. Right. And um, from what our sources are telling us, it is seems to be, especially for Sam, at the very end. Wow. Yeah. That would be crazy because... If her life wasn't chaotic enough, if she breaks up with her husband, man, you just fear for, I don't know, her, her own mental sort of sanity and like everything she's going through has been so taxing to her. Um, and so that if, if, if the one constant throughout all of this changes um, and she's left even more isolated than she already feels, you got to fear for her a bit. You know, what's sad is, you know, she got out of this conservatorship over a year and a half ago, right? And she has such a troubled past with her family. You know, she's yeah. not really close. She especially hates her her father, Jamie. Um, you know, she believes he was behind a lot of the, the conservatorship and all of that going into place. She doesn't, as far as we know, uh, have a good relationship with her sister or her mother. So if Sam, if he does end up divorcing her and this marriage is over, you have to wonder who, who does she have? Who does she lean on yeah. that's close to her that is like... A family figure. It's a very sad situation. It really is. As I say, we've got a documentary coming about out about all of this tonight. It's called Britney Spears. Teams investigates Britney Spears, the price of freedom, and we discuss yeah everything to do with this whole relationship because everyone's been interested um, with about Britney and Sam since the get go because it's been. I don't know. I I still don't quite understand their relationship. Do you? I think what people think. What people find interesting is they met on a music video set, right? He was just an extra. Right. He wasn't known at the time. There's so many extras in Hollywood, so it could have really been anyone. They happened to fall in love with each other. They obviously swapped numbers on the set. And, um, you know, they get into this relationship and people kind of thought, well, maybe it'll last for a little bit and then it'll crash and burn. There was other people that thought it was a PR stunt. And right. then they get married. They get married uh, four years later. So it's just kind of, it's all very interesting. And you have to wonder when Sam is no longer married to her, based on what our sources are telling us that this this marriage is going to end, 
what will his life be? You know, mm. because you have to think that a lot of the roles that he's getting, you know, he's getting all this TV and film work. Will that still be coming in for him n if he's no longer Br Britney Spears's husband? Totally. Well, I mean, I think a lot of people judged his, and maybe still do, judge his motives with being with Britney because she's obviously, you know, an interesting person uh, to say the least. And she's got her a, a lot of her own demons. And Sam is this big hunk of a guy, young, young guy who's trying to make it in Hollywood. Then he shacks up with one of the biggest stars, you know, that, that music has seen in this country. And, and, and a lot of people are questioning, is he using her? Well, you know, what does he want out of this? But I mean, on the, on the face of it, like, I, I think that they've got a genuine love and care for each other. Um, obviously the marriage isn't panning out. It hasn't been, how long have they been married now? It hasn't been a long marriage. She was married in June of last year. It hasn't been too long. And, and um, so, I mean, it's a, it's a short marriage, but they've been together for a long time and it, it'll be really worrying, uh, for her if, if he, they part ways, um, God knows what happens to his career now, because I, does, does, does he have acting chops or is like. He's okay. He's good looking. He's he good was looking. he was a fitness trainer. You know what I mean. He was a personal trainer before, you know. Even in the early days of their relationship, he was still a personal trainer. You know, trying to book gigs on TV shows. And obviously, as their relationship went on, and I'm sure he was booking bigger gigs and stuff. But again, yeah, you have to wonder um, if they do end up getting divorced, based on what our sources have told us. Um, what is Sam's future? Will he continue to get those roles, or does he? go back to becoming a personal trainer. Right. It'll, it'll be very interesting. And I think it's important to point out that this, this documentary is not really focused on the conservatorship. It's Britney's life post-conservatorship. It's, it's um, you know, what she does day to day. I think people wonder, you know, she's finally having freedom after all these years of being under the conservatorship and being watched over by so many people. You know, it's, it's a real glimpse into her day to day life post-conservatorship that ended a year and a half ago. Because she fought for the conservatorship so hard. Um, and all of the fans, the free Britney people with the signs outside the courthouse, everyone fought for this freedom so hard. But now, is, is her life so great that it was worth that fight? You know, like, it seems like there's just as many tr troubles as there was in the first place. Obviously, she doesn't feel like she's imprisoned anymore, which is, is great for someone's state of mind, I would imagine. But it, it seems like... Uh, they're never ending issues and um, I hope that everything works out for her. But yeah, this whole conservatorship drama that dragged on for ages, it, it can't have been good for her mental health at all. I know. And I think, I think a lot of thing, a lot of people think that, you know, she should still be under the conservatorship. People right. around her think that she should still be under the conservatorship. I think maybe getting her dad out, you know, cause that was a big issue that she had. She felt her dad was shouldn't be in there and shouldn't be her conservator, which he was for all those years. Um, but there are a lot of people that still to this day say she should be under, you know, the conservatorship for her own safety. Um, and maybe it just should not have been her dad. Right. Understood. Well, as I say, that, that Teams Investigates comes out tonight. It's, uh, it's about Britney Spears. It's called The Price of Freedom. So check that out. It's on tonight. To our next story, Taylor Swift, her and her new man have taken a big step in that Matt Healy, oh, sorry, Matty. We call him Matty for some reason. <laughs> Matty Healy um, from the band The 1975. Well, he attended uh, the Philadelphia concert with Taylor Swift's own dad, Scott Swift. Scotty Swift, maybe. Scotty and Matty. This is, to me, it feels like moving fast. It, oh. and it also makes me wonder, what was the timeline of Taylor and Joe Alwyn breaking up? Because the way they're acting, I mean, he's at all her shows. Yeah. He's now with dad at yeah. the Philadelphia show. And also we got those pictures of her uh, last Thursday. She was in New York City with him and they met up with um, her really good friend, Jack Antonoff, mm. who I believe is also her producing partner or they write music together. Um, and they went to this restaurant in New York City and it's they were on like a rooftop and it's packed with people. She wants people to know that they're in a relationship. You know what I mean? She, there's not, they're not doing anything to hide this, this romance. No, not at all. And you're right. Joe is probably looking on going, was there any crossover? Or like, when did this come around? Because this is hot and heavy very fast. Like, this is at least the fourth concert that Maddie's gone to. He may have gone to more. Um, and now he's hanging out with Scott Swift, um, her dad. It just seems like 
a lot has happened in such a short amount of time. We only heard that these two might be dating like a, a week or two ago. It's like a, yeah, like a couple of weeks uh, yeah. ago. <laughs> and now it's just like. <laughs> and now dad's there and. He'll be over. We'll be getting photos of him at their house for dinner soon. Like, you know, meeting, meeting the mom. You need to remember several years ago, they did have some kind of a relationship in the past. They you know, friends, long before right? Joe Alwyn. I think there was some kind of romance oh. there. Um, so they do have a history, but it just, I keep going back wondering what was the actual timeline of when her and Joe broke up and when her and Maddie reconnected? Yeah. Or did they, were they always talking as friends and now they hopped right back into, you know, their, their relationship from where they left off years ago? I don't know. Cause that's always an issue. Like if, if, if you're, if you're dating someone and they've, they've known someone before you even met. So she had this connection with Maddie even before her and Joe were like dating and that sort of stuff. Then they rekindle after we've broken up. It's, it, it makes you think like, was there like a through line through our relationship where either you were thinking or texting or I, I, I don't know. And, and for, for them to shack up so quickly after the breakup, like we, as we say, we don't know the exact timeline of when Joe and Taylor broke up. Um, it could have been a while ago, but it only came out recently that they broke up. So for her to be this hot and heavy with a new man, um, I mean, maybe they're just in love, new lovebirds. Maybe they're just... As you're talking, I'm like having this, like, I'm processing this thought now too. Could this also be, because Taylor Swift is a very brilliant businesswoman. Oh. Could this also be her knowing that if she puts Maddie at all these shows, people are going to take pictures and they're going to talk about it. Yeah. And every concert is going to get publicity. Well, I mean, she's getting a lot of publicity for this tour. Oh, the TMZ podcast goes to a lot of ear holes and now everyone wants to book tickets. Yeah. Um, But yeah, that's not, that's not a bad thought because we talk about this tour, this era's tour. I even know the name of Taylor Swift. A tour. lot. A lot. Like Beyonce's on tour too. Couldn't name you like, oh, that's Renaissance actually. I can't name it. But, but, but you, you don't hear about it you like you're hearing hear about, about Taylor's tour. You need to see like, you know, a, a new man at Beyonce. Oh, Jay-Z wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like that. No. I'm, but it doesn't it make you kind of also wonder though, like is, could this also be like to get all this press going? We've written about every show that Maddie has been at. Yeah. And then we also did that story where... Uh, she was almost crying during a song like, oh, was, was, was that her telling us that her and Joe had broken up? Her crying during, like for some, ha- somehow, yes, she's a brilliant, brilliant businesswoman that we can talk about her show dates day after day. And it's, it's, it's always like just a new development in some story. So, I mean, I don't know, they're, they're probably, there's probably some genuine, you would have thought there's, there's got to be some, at least some genuine feelings between the two of them. But yeah, this, this does help her too. There's three, he, he goes to three shows. In a row. And, you know, one night Gigi Hadid's there and a couple of our other friends. Then on the fourth night, the dad's there. I mean, like, who's going to be there? Are they going to have the mom at the next one? You know, the, there's speculation actually that um, Matty, Matty and Scott Swift, they, they went to two shows in Philly together. That they're in two different outfits in different photos. So either they took up and they changed their clothes, which it was also could be a story, but they, um, they got, they're in different, different outfits. So they, they might've gone to two shows together. Um, is he coming on a bit strong? If this is all just like a new relationship, like, do you want to come on this strong and go to like, if you were with someone new for the first time, imagine showing up at their work every day. Yeah. That's a bit much. Also, I mean, it's helping him and his band because the band he's in, I mean, we, I've heard of it before. But it obviously doesn't get the publicity that someone like Taylor Swift would help get the publicity for. Oh, for him and his band. And they're win-win. also on tour right now. They're like on a, a month long break, I saw, but like they're about to, in like two or three weeks, go back oh, on their tour. So it makes you wonder then, is she going to go? She better, I mean, if I go to if four she has shows a day of yours, off, is she going to go meet him at one of his shows? Yeah, you better be, you better be <laughs> sitting up in the stands with my mom for four days in a row, listening to the same old songs every day. If I'm doing it for you, if you want this to be an equal relationship, it better be the same. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. To our last story, Lady Gaga had an unwanted guy at the house. Uh, this guy carrying flowers uh, made it as far as her driveway before security apprehended him. He was just like, I'm here to deliver the flowers. I'm here to give her flowers. I just really like her. Apparently this is the same guy that uh, he's also delivered other little gifts to her. Uh, but yeah, he was stopped by security and um, he wasn't arrested, but he was told to go. But yeah, he's he's was obviously posing a bit of a scary thing for her. I get it's like a safety thing, right? But if she has security at the house, why are they calling the police? Because if they're not arresting him, 
And he's just at the dry. I mean, I guess we don't really know where he was at the driveway. Maybe he was at the driveway and right in front of the house. Yeah. I don't know. But it's kind of interesting. Maybe they had to call the cops on this if our security had had apprehended him and then they don't arrest him. But I, the cops you would think that would him, yeah. be a trust a trespassing charge. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the cops didn't take him, so obviously they didn't want to press charges or they didn't want to. He's probably just, you know, uh, you know, got a few screws loose. Is obsessed with Lady Gaga as many people are, but m most people don't want to deliver a little this is not the first time he's tried to deliver her a present <laughs> to her house and we see this all the time i mean i can't think of how many stories we do like every every week every couple of weeks where a, a big celebrity has a stalker at the house or someone's jumped the gate um you have to wonder what's going through their mind i mean obviously they're an obsessed fan obsessed you know you're gonna jump lady gaga's gate or walk down her driveway i would hope you would know that there's probably security there that's going to apprehend you and you're not going to get inside but can't you just send like a someone to deliver the flowers for you on their flower delivery services these days oh, i want to do it in put person. your number put your number if you're trying to get lucky just put your number on the card oh and oh, have the delivery company drop that's it off. good that's good yeah. did you give your mom flowers for mother's day i didn't what'd you give her I got her. She. I gave her a phone call. Oh, she okay. always says, "Don't get flowers." So I always do something when we're in person together because she doesn't live here. I don't get flowers. Don't I'm send flowers. You're just gonna die. So <laughs> when I see her in person next time, I'll get her dinner. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining me of today, course. Brendan. It's been nice talking to you, fun. mate. And catch out our documentary later tonight. Uh, Teams investigates Britney Spears. Thank you very much.